Well, fuck. I guess I'm not gonna be wearing this wig uh, for much longer. As you guys have seen, the absolutely awful news about The Witcher. Henry Cavell has said that after season three, he is no longer gonna be a part of the show. He will be giving up his role to one of the discount Hemsworth brothers, Liam Hemsworth. The reaction online must have Netflix shitting their boots. This is... I believe their third major attempt at trying to find something that has as much of a cult following as a major following as Game of Thrones. Something they've been after ever since Game of Thrones exploded after the first season. And they've tried it with Marco Polo, which didn't even finish. They tried it with Altered Carbon, which also didn't finish. They got Stranger Things, which I don't think they even expected. When that show first started, I didn't even think it was going to be as big of a fandom as they have. But that's also now coming to an end. So The Witcher was supposed to be it. They had a seven season series plan. And Henry Cavell was on top of it, but he had one condition is that they would respect the stories and create great stories uh, and respect what the books were that were written by the author. And it seems that while it hasn't been as widely talked about as uh, most are, the conflictions between Cavell and the lead writer, the, the showrunner, for The Witcher uh, have always cropped up here and there. Uh, one of the big examples was in the second season when Roach died and she wanted him to quip. And he's like, Gerald wouldn't quip in this. Just because the memes make a joke about it, he still cares for every horse he's had. Yes, he calls them all Roach, but he still cares about them. And the guy was a constant source of information, knowledge, and actual care for the show while it seems that the writer's room was full of people who actively hated the source material. There's an interview with the X-Men 97 head writer you know, when he was working on The Witcher. He says that the writer's room was full of people who were actively mocking the source material. A mentality in which he believes is a death knell when it, with any given project. And this guy, apparently when he went in to be hired on to make the X-Men 97 series, every person that has been hired since uh, had to be. It was a requirement that they had to be a fan of the X-Men. And then he started talking about The Witcher and how some of the writers were not are actively dislike the books and the games, even mocking the source material. It's a recipe for disaster and bad morale. Fandom as a limitless test checks egos and makes all the long nights worth it. You have to respect the work before you're allowed to add to its legacy. And this is something that has been a prevalent issue with a lot of media in the last little while. If you want a really good example, look at Obi-Wan. It was written by a guy who barely knew Star Wars, didn't even know Star Wars at all. They had to keep on referring to a supposed kind of Star Wars Legends uh, encyclopedia but that guy even has some questionable traits to himself truly speaking are you watching the witcher for anything else except for gerald or gerald and the monsters i don't give a shit about the elves story i slightly care about yennefer's story but that's because her introduction was so well done i don't care about the hierarchy i don't care about the random reveal at the end of season two i don't care about the the all the other kingdoms i don't everything feels like a discount version of other fantasy or can be replaced with generic fantasy gerald was the only reason why i was watching that show and it was a reason why a lot of other people were watching that show because henry gave it his all he loved that show now, there are some other speculations that it's not just that, it's also now that he's been rehired as Superman, most likely his money went up. Um, and on top of that, his commitment might have gone up in terms of offers that he's gotten, especially for Superman and other projects. But Cavell just never stopped working. Like This guy was doing a lot of work between going back and forth, doing Mission Impossible, doing the reshoots for Justice League mustache included, working on The Witcher. Like Henry isn't adverse to working on a lot of projects at once. So 
I think it's because it's a it's a combination of things, but definitely I have a feeling that the the strife in the writer's room must have been an issue. Does anyone even remember that there's supposedly a prequel series coming out? There's something that's set, what, a thousand years before the events of The Witcher? I have to imagine that Netflix has had no chatter about it whatsoever. I, the few people that I've talked to, I've said, hey, do you remember that there was the, there's this even this prequel series that's coming out that no one cares about? They're like, what pre prequel series are you talking about? Well, it was the one that was at the end of the last episode of the second season. They previewed it, and a lot of people are going, oh, yeah, I forgot about it. And it's got Michelle Yeoh in it, so that's unfortunate. <laughs> but I don't give a shit about that either. The only thing that I cared about for The Witcher show is Geralt. Because I've listened to the first two books, I've listened to The Last Wish, and I listened to Blood of Elves, and I can admit, because the second season was really based on Blood of Elves, there, there's a reason why that season suffered, is because Blood of Elves is, admittedly, a very boring book. It is a very dry, and a very boring, and a very slow-moving book. So, but it gets better after that, from what I've been told. So, yeah, Netflix has just got to be shitting their boots. The amount of flack that this is getting. No one cares about Leems Hensworth. No one cares about the show without Henry there. The numbers are going to fall through the floor. They will not be able to probably finish this show. I'm, I'm going to take a guess. They might have enough to do a fifth season. Maybe. Maybe. But if it gets to five, it's definitely dead. I cannot see them continuing this after, like... We'll have to see how many don't watch three out of spite. But I'm going to watch it because it's the last time Mr. Mm, fuck is going to be there. But otherwise, I have no desire to keep watching the show after it's done. I don't think Leem's really that great of an actor, to be honest. He's always just been, oh, if you can't afford Chris, you just get Leem. So I, I don't know. He is stepping into shoes that I don't even know why he is. He's gotta know that he's under some immense pressure. He's not gonna be able to live up to it. So I don't know. We'll see what happens. The show is probably gonna go down the hole and Netflix is gonna lose out again. They have once again shit the bed in terms of making something that can contend. And then Game of Thrones has come and gone now. And now there's another one, House of Dragon, which, to be honest, I really enjoyed, actually. Uh, if you guys haven't seen it, I would very recommend watching it. Um, uh, I watched, after I finished Rings of Power, I went through uh, House of Dragon, and the, the, the storytelling and just the, the writing went up from grade school level to, to university level. It was incredible to watch. But anyways, guys, those are my thoughts. What do you guys think? Are you even going to bother watching the third season? What do you think is going to happen in terms of the light writer's room? Very, very curious. Very, very curious. I really hope that it is the writer's room dispute. Because if we lost Geralt because Henry's gone back to Superman, I will admit I'm a bit upset about that. Because while it, it's great, I, I'm happy that Henry's back in the blue. But if it was at the cost of the only reason why I liked watching The Witcher... That's a, that's a hard pill to swallow. Anyways, guys, that's all from me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like. And if you're interested in more, subscribe. Otherwise, see you guys next time.